Oh my goodness. Let me just roll good on that front. Happy days, baby. Happy days. I just got a oh, little stretchy. Oh, God. Uh, it should be live now. Let's just uh, let's just recheck that. Da, 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 da. It was it was just a moment ago. What's going on? You should you should absolutely be live. It says you're live. What's going on here? Why do you not think it's live? There we go. Happy days, baby. Sorry, it takes it, it takes ages for the thing to update sometimes. Oh my god. Hello and welcome all to a bit more spooky Saturday fun action. Starting out today, we're going to be playing Fears to Fathom Episode 4, Iron Bark Lookout. I, I really like Fears to Fathom. I played through the first three, and they're, they're just these awesome little stories that people tell based on their own experiences, which then get turned into a horror game. It's so cool. It's so, so cool. And the, when there's always a new one, you're like, okay, so this is something that has actually kind of happened. But I think they embellish it a little bit. But the fact is, the events in this, like, in this game did happen, which is, like, so cool. Or at least it's based on a true story kind of thing. Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. Episode playtime, two hours. <gasps> it's going to be long. I'm excited. Fears to Fathom, episode four. Let's go, baby. Iron Bark Lookout, May 12th. <clears throat> hey, I noticed you were requesting story submissions while I was watching a YouTuber play Fears to Fathom Carson House. What I'm about to recount happened when I was 24 or so at the time. It feels kind of weird telling anyone about this because of the bizarre and absurd nature of the whole thing. Mm, excuse me. But I feel like doing so might help me process my memories of it. I knew that sharing the story anywhere else would be a dumb idea because people would say I was lying. As I'm writing this, this was the scariest experience of my life. Ooh. I'm Jack Nelson, had a small job as a park ranger in a state park. I was a fire lookout stationed in one of the largest forests in the Pacific Northwest. Miles and miles of dense forests managed by the Forestry Service. I had a salary that allowed me to make ends meet. I feel you, I feel you. But I couldn't afford to treat myself to restaurants, nice clothes, etc. Definitely feel you. My biggest accomplishment so far was being able to buy an RV for myself with a lot of financial help from my dad. The RV was the only sense of hope, home, I had at the time. This one time, I was transferred from one outpost to another because of some official circumstances. It was a minor inconvenience to me, though, since I lived out of my RV and liked traveling. I said a few goodbyes, and I was off to the new location. It was about a two-hour drive. Oh. Ah. And so our journey begins. Speed limit 40? Well, I don't know how fast we're going, but it's going to be fine. No, don't don't be reading messages while you're driving. Did you pass Roseburg yet? No, why? I lived a very solitary life. It helps quiet my mind, keep the memories at bay. Nice, peaceful, relaxing, so far, perfect for a horror game. I've always loved the great outdoors. Just being surrounded by nature gave me happiness. Banana man! Felt like I was at home in the woods. You should not be texting and driving, but it wants me to check the messages. Diner while passing Roseburg, they're the best burgers in town. You have to try them out. Really a good meal before the staffing starts. Hi. Thanks, Kay. Don't, don't text and drive. It's very dangerous. 
I guess we're going to go to a diner at Roseburg to start with. Yeah, I, th I thought so too, Banana Man. I thought so too. And it'd take me a while to, to actually get this one and play it, but uh, I'm glad we're here. Is this Roseburg? Where's the... Yeah, this is Roseburg. Okay, so where's the diner? Must be up ahead, right? There it is. That's the one that Caleb was talking about. Okay, I guess we're... Stopping here. Nobody should mind. I'm an RV, so, uh... Um, there we go. Thank you. You just gonna let your music play and run out your battery and shit? What are you doing, my dude? Did I watch Disguise by Taylor Joukowsky? I, I don't think I have, no. I'll pop it on the list, buddy. Hi, welcome to Twin... Oh, Twin River Diner. That's a great name. How are you doing? I'm, uh, I'm alright. How about you? Feel free to take any seat you like and I'll be right with you. Oh, thanks. I appreciate that. I guess right here would be good. No, I'll pop it on the list, buddy. Don't you worry. Let's see. Disguise. Bye. Tyler. Chakowski. Awesome. Good evening. I'm Barbara. Are you ready to order? Um, sure. I get first. Um, meatball soup with chicken nuggets. I mean, that's just a bit too fat. Whereas everyone, I mean, you know, pe people do things on Saturdays. It's no big deal. The main thing is, if I can entertain anybody now or later, that's good enough for me. Little cheese with onion rings. Wow, let's just go classic cheeseburger with fries. Burgers the best. Oh yeah, because the uh, Kayla said they had good burgers. This this makes sense. Like anything to drink. Uh. I guess we have strawberry slush, that sounds nice. Aw, oh, it's alright, Banana Man, it's just you and me hanging out at the moment, but give it time, give it time. I posted in the Discord, so hopefully everybody sees it. We'll, we'll see what happens. Anything else? Uh -huh. that's, that's all, thank you. Fantastic, you bring it out as soon as it's done, just so let you know if you need anything else. Yep, cool, sounds good, appreciate it, thank you. I've always had this habit of peeing before eating. Oh, okay, so, are we... I guess you're trying to tell me that's what we're doing here. Alright, let's, let's go do that. Let's go to the restroom. Yes, we do so love the crazy pee animation. Oh, I can actually, like, use my mouse to shoot. Yeah, let's just, let's just make a mess on their floor. Why not? Yes, yes. How long? I was about to say, how long of a pee? Can I flush it? Thank you. Let's be polite, at least. Got no reflection. I love being a vampire. Always good. 10 out of 10, you're right. We can pee on the ground. Cool. It's always good to wash your hands. It's fucking stinky and nasty otherwise. Get some bacteria on people, get them sick. You don't want to do that. Can I take a shovel? Shame. Well, might as well sit down and wait for my food. Don't know what else we're doing here. Our onion ring's good. You've, you've never had an onion ring, really. It depends. It really does depend. Not all onion rings are good. It really depends where you go and, and how you like them. Because some places do them like where it's proper big onion rings, and those are, those can be quite nice. And other places it's like shredded onion, which is also nice in my opinion. But I'm not always in the mood for for both, so it's it really depends what you're in the mood for. But like if you get a nice like a nice steak with big onion rings, that's nice. That's real fancy. Consuming. Yes, how very human of me. I love the fact they bring them out in, like, McDonald's takeaway containers as well, just in case I had to leave immediately. Without paying. You know, like normal people. Ah, oh, you don't have McDonald's and so Oh, but, I mean, that is a bit sad, but at the same time, it's, it's a novelty. And I mean, I I don't really eat it all that much. It's it's okay, you know. Like it's it's not it's not the end of the world that you never get to really have McDonald's or fat. Well, certain fast food places can be nice, but at the same time, they're also bad for you. So you wouldn't want to eat a lot of them. So don't feel bad about not having access. And if anything, that's kind of good for you, really. 
I enjoy the food? Yeah, it was great. Uh, no, just still get the check. Yeah, I need to get to get to wherever my new job is. This is this is fun. Yeah, glad they put this in the game. Unless something ominous gonna happen. That dude did leave before me. I'm a little nervous about that, but uh, yeah, I don't really know what's going on yet. You could take your sweet time. Thank you, Barbara. Total is seven dollars sixty. Well, obviously we're gonna give you. Oh no! See now, now here's here's the problem, right? So, so in in tipping culture, at least in countries where you know the the, the waiters and waitresses and staff, whatever, don't make a regular wage or salary, then it's it it it's different. Okay, Exversity, welcome, my dude. So, fifteen percent in those situations is is okay. 20% is usually like good. 20% is kind of like saying, you know, thank you. I, I did have a good time. I, you know, I believe you are worth money, you know, and stuff like that. 50% is obviously crazy generous. But but 15% is, is like the bare minimum. It's okay. <sighs> but I feel like, why does this lady have a square face? And she doesn't look like she's having the best time. So I'm going to give her extra money just, just to be super nice. But also because... I used to live that kind of life, not not in a diner, but in a restaurant, where you know tips was like how you, how we survived. So, so I feel I feel her pain. I feel her pain. Um, I don't remember this being open. I do not remember that being open. Hello. The bathroom is strangely jammed. Nope. Nope. I think that dude got on my freaking RV. Um, we've already we've already got a strike. We've already got problems. This is terrible. This is terrible. That dude with the shovel. I wasn't very proud of my driving. Look, it's 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 not important. So. If that dude's on here with the shovel, is he gonna is he gonna fight me? I'm not ready for that. Crazy. Breaking into some dude's RV. That's just crazy. 8 or 2 p.m. Because I definitely did not leave the RV door open. Definitely didn't. Hmm. Want to include the location of this park. Okay. But I don't want anyone seeking out the utter horrors I've seen in these woods. Ooh. Shovel Man versus the famous Nate. Man, I mean, I think he might win with his shovel, if I'm honest. Am I supposed to be stopping here? Or am I... I drove past the trail at first. Are you trying to tell me I'm supposed to stop there? You need to tell me what I'm doing, game. I don't know. I don't know what the story is. We're playing it. I guess you're telling me I need to need to park up, maybe? Well, it says do not enter there, so I guess I can park up here where these other ones are. Oh my goodness gracious. Just so difficult. Okay, there we go. Alright, we're parked. Is this still strangely jammed? Because I don't like that. Oh, is this where my new job is going to be? Because I know we're we're going to a new location for our job, but I don't know. Ah, I guess this is, yeah. Ironbark State Park. Gate D. Oh, this is cool. Gold Creek Trail. Nice. Okay. Am I supposed to be driving down here? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Fuck sakes! Really? Was that necessary? With a gun? I scared you! Wow. Okay. Okay. You scared the shit out of me, dude. Thought it was one of them. Ugh. I have to make a three-story game. Two of them is fake and one is real. Ooh. Well, that would be cool. And you'd have to, like, figure out which one's the real one. That'd be cool. That'd be... That's a cool idea, Banana Man. You choose the fake ones, you could jump scared. Yeah, I feel that. What of who? My lord, have mercy. Anyways, can I see your permit, please? Oh, I'm... I'm not a camper. I'm the new transferred fire lookout. 
Is that correct? I didn't know we were hiring this season. These guys there with the power jumps for real, right? Check on that. Uh, yeah, you, you best. I'm gonna close that, because I don't fucking trust anything now. I just rush somebody with a gun. Jesus Christ. Hi. Good to go. Staff to fire tower 11. It's it's okay. Uh, but but seriously though, you should not be should not be rushing people with a gun. Especially at night time. Apologize for the confusion. I was under the impression the tower would be left unstaffed for the season. But here, take your keys. Thank you. So tower 11. Uh, open the trail gate for you. Cool. Can I can I drive down it? Is it? Did you just walk through the door? Billy, can we talk about this for a minute? Is he gonna do it again? I'm mortified. You're the cryptid here. Since you're arriving this late, you might also need this flashlight. Oh. Thank you, Billy. Careful, take this. Now, he did say the long hike, which usually means do it on foot. Now, for purposes, when you get to your tower, be sure to make your first weather report from your system, just so we know you clocked in safely. Okay, okay. <laughs> Call the ghost hunters got to- I agree, man, what the fuck. Need be, you can reach out to tower 12 during your staffing. Nice enough guy. It'll be your closest contact in case of any emergency. Thank you, Billy. What? Hey. Just a piece of advice. Don't travel any further than half a mile or so north of my tower. Why? Dangerous woods that way, pal. Bobcats and bears. Okay, nasty business. Okay, fair enough. You got it. Thanks, bud. Thought he was trying to scare me, but he looked dead serious. It doesn't look like I can drive through there, so that's cool. Uh, missing people. That's pretty sadly common. Stay on the trail. Uh, I'd, I'd love to see... Oh, God, I can't read any of that, right? We're just going to have to hope that uh, there's signs. Oh, God, okay, well, at least we've already got a jump scare out of the way, so I'm, I'm feeling a bit better now. Designated access foot trail. No bikes, only horses. Oh, I'd love a, I'd love a horse here. I left my bag in the... How am I supposed to know what we need? You need to tell me what we need. So that way we, we make the story correct and accurate. You silly game. Silly game. Can I not go up that one? I guess not. I guess that's part of that one. Tower 11. Being a ranger must be scary at night. Oh, dude, I, I feel like it would be. But I love the concept. I absolutely love the concept of it. Is this still strangely jammed? Yeah, fine. I still think that dude's here. Still think that dude with the shovel got on my RV. But you know what? I'm just gonna leave it. It's fine. It's just a game. It's fine. If I'm gonna destroy my battery, that's fine. It's absolutely fine. I'm just going for a nice hike. Uh, just going for a very nice hike. In broad daylight, my time. Oh. Oh, will automatically take me there. Cool. Cool. That works. Huge 12-hour shits. <laughs> He's fighting for his life. <laughs> He's blowing up my bathroom. <laughs> you guys cracked me up. It was a long hike, and I was starting to get cold, I guess. Ah, here we go. Closest tower, tower 11. Ah, must be that one. Cool. Sweet. Oh, this is nice. This is real nice. How pleasant. Right, up we go. So, stay on the trails. Don't go more than 30 minutes north of my own tower, which might not be a problem. I marked tower 11, 170 foot. Lacey Trail, 3 miles. Uh, Gold Creek Trail is where I came from, right? Cool, let's go. To my new home. Living in a fire tower is not a glamorous job. I mean, no, but the concept is cool. Imagine being out here alone for weeks at a time. It's not for everyone. But I've always had a fondness for the outdoors. Utility shack? <sighs> now I'll check it out later. 
tell you what. I feel like we should get that going first, so we got some power when I get up here. Oh yeah, power the... Sorry, I, saw, I, th I thought I saw something, but I, I, I didn't. Why did he come here at night? <laughs> this is the damn storyteller. Oh, look at the tower. Once you're on top of the tower, your job is to look for fires or anything out of the ordinary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the game Firewatch or, um... Ah, oh, what was the other one that was about a Firewatch? Uh, no Signal. Both really good. Both really good. Firewatch a bit more emotional, whereas uh, No Signal was was just horrific. God, this is kind of, yeah. Cabin was filled with the aroma of wood, giving me a sense of comfort. If I turn this off, wow, it's still crazy dark. Ah, oh, there we go. Finally in my new home for the next few months. Let's check that. Can I check this as well? Sweet. Osborne Firefinder. It's like a giant compass size of a pizza. It, it's, it's huge, isn't it? Bear jump scare. <laughs> no signal was a puppet combo game. I think it was, yes. I think it was. Or no, it was... Mm, it might have been. I think it's by the same people who did the Leeds murder thing. I don't remember, but I think I found it on Game Jolt. I remember that. Ironbark Fire Department. Right, lights out after 12pm. Uh, you don't control me. Supply drops are handed out every Sunday. Cool, absolutely no guest in the lookout. I feel like I need to remember that one. I feel like that's going to be important. System password is Ironbark Tower Number. Well, that's not very secure. Anybody can guess that. Refuel the generator routinely. Update the reporting software routinely. No video ga No video games? What else am I supposed to do up here? Remember to call your sister station before you sleep. Uh, request comm support. Call John. Send photos to Mitch. Call Billy. Call John tomorrow at 2 p.m. Well, I don't know who he is, so... Ask for extra supplies next week. Well, that's whoever was here before. But uh, I am here now. They didn't even do their dishes before they left. Fucking hell. They leave me a mess as well. That's that's so very nice of them. And a full fridge. Oh, that's sweet. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't need that right... No. I'm just looking around, man. I'm sorry. No, no, no. Just, I was just trying to look at stuff. That's how we refill the generator, I guess. That bear mace? Oh my god, it is bear spray. That's that's fun. Right, we need to do a weather check. Um How do how do how do I? I think I gotta radio somebody. Oh hang on. Let's do the PC. I think there's stuff on here, right? Oh, this is so cool! I am as DOS, man. That's awesome. Takes me back. God, I'm I'm so old. And I need professional. Well, we know iron bark 11. Don't litter. <laughs> You're not working here. What do you mean no games? I know, right? I mean, come on. Let me bring like a switch or something. Tool on the map kind of thing. It is a bit of a weird tool. Hello there, it's Smiley, your trusty virtual assistant. Mm. I'm only going to trust you because... I don't think you're going to be a Kanito pet kind of situation. Click, you click. Here's a random fact for you. Antarctica is the windiest continent on Earth, with some coastal areas experiencing winds reaching speeds of up to 200 miles per hour. That's that's horrifying. Uh, yeah, it's going great. Thanks. Um, I need to I need to do some Plague.exe. Hang on a minute. We do have a game on here. Take on some zombies and have a blast. Let's go. Oh my God. Oh yeah. Oh god, they're everywhere. Uh, I need to get out of here. Oh, oh no. Music's awesome. Just a big old random map. This, this is fun. I hear them. Wow, you can really get away from them, can't you? Oh, I'm back here now. Great. Come on. Come on. Oh my god. I'm having I'm having too much simple fun with this. Oh my god. Uh, 
Oh my god, it is just like the old game. So difficult. Yes! Oh! Come on! <laughs> You know, this is actually kind of fun. <laughs> it's like, it's like if uh, if Call of Duty Zombies were um, were made by the Counter Strike team. <laughs> I fucking love it though. Wrecked. Man, I'm probably gonna die, but that's okay. Let's let's get to 200. Let's get to 200. The music is like a, like a carnival. A different gun would be nice. If we win. I don't think so. Oh wait. Ah. Do what I thought it would do. All right, and you just kill me. Let's let's play let's play the actual game. I'm sorry. <laughs> Imagine you get fired because played a video game that's already downloaded. Yeah, right. Okay, let's 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 play the game actually now. Uh, I need to do a temper. Oh, here we go. Say the art service reporting software develop. Oh oh. Jack. I saw your light turn on. I gotta say, it's refreshing to see Tower 11 alive again. Who's this? Connor, Fire Tower 12. Ah, my dude. You were watching? Isn't that the job? We've had to cover your area until you arrived. Aw, oh, I appreciate that, buddy. Anyways, what brings you to this towering paradise of ours? Just looking for a change. I'm a transfer from Iron Horse. An experienced comrade. I can see why Mitch picked you. I'm really tired. Is fire going? No. Lit. The temperature is about to plummet. You don't want to sit through the storm shivering. Got it. Thanks. Yeah, I still need to do the weather report, though, he said, so I, I need to do that. Um. Crap. <laughs> to figure out how I'm going to do it. I mean, clearly, I just need to know the weather condition. Why did. Okay. That's a compass. There must be some... Oh, oh, that's nice. Okay, so I can at least see outside. I guess I should maybe go down to the utility shack. There could be some useful stuff down there. I don't smoke. Did you light it up yet? Wood stove should be around the entrance. Get her lit. I, I'm aware of what you would like me to do. Alright. So you told me about it has three bowl kind of stuff. Three bowl kind of stuff? You don't talk about this, are you? All right, he really wants me to light this. Do I need some wood? I feel like I do. I don't have any wood here. So I'm gonna have to I, I, no matter what I gotta go downstairs. So let's go ahead and do that. For real? I can't leave? Okay, fine. Fine. Uh, where's the woods? Can't light a wood stove without wood, bro. Not outside. That would have been convenient. That would have been convenient. Where's the, where's the woods? Can't light a stove, a wood-burning stove, without it. He's so mad. Please, just... Where? Where's the wood? How do, uh, you can't. You can't light it without wood. Am I supposed to talk to him and tell him that? There's no firewood. There's firewood. There must be plenty in the shack. That's all Marley did. Marley? The staffer who was in the lookout before you. <laughs> you got wood everywhere. That's 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 true. Uh, and right right in front of the PC where he sold the code to the PC. Oh, okay. Gasoline must be in your cabin, but if not, you can always grab your supplies from the storage shack. 
Uh, the gasoline is here. The jerry can, anyway. Oh, you mean this? Oh, the wind device. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Now we're cooking with gas. Okay. So 20 knots is the wind. Cool. That's for our report. Uh, can I do parts of the report now? Cool. Let's do 20. Need to know the temperature and how many people assisted. So let's get up. That's not temperature. That's a compass. Um, temperature. There should be just a... Yeah, here we go. 46.8. Let's go ahead and do that. Oh, it doesn't save it. Well, we'll do it when we come back then. Let's go get the wood. What's the worst that can happen? We die. Do, 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 do. Ah, this would be nice. I'm, I'm looking forward to this. It's going to be a little chill, a little horror. It's going to be great. It's going to be real great. And this is where I can take my morning dumps. That's nice. At least he's got, got a urinal attachment. That's cool, man. That's, you know, you don't see that in porta potties. So Marley was always getting wood, huh? Oh. It's a nice little shack. Yeah. It's a nice little shack. Mm hmm. Oh, I see. And then if I need any other supplies, there's backups here. Cool. Cool. I like that. I guess we have what we need. All right. Let's go. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. See, there's big logs there. Can I chop them up? There must be, there must be a place I can chop up the, the wood. I mean, this is perfect right now, but you, you know what I mean. Also, do we have any kindling? We kind of need that to, um... You know, you can't just light logs on fire, right? I mean, that's... But I guess in this case, you can. Need a gasoline. Ah, okay, that makes sense. That's not dangerous. That's not dangerous at all. Ah, I see it. I see the smoke. Do you? I see Tower 11 alive again. Did you report for the night yet? Uh, Connor, I'm freaking working on it, dude. Give me like five minutes. I just got here. You won't leave me alone. You won't leave me alone. Uh, how many hikers assisted? I'm going to say zero because I haven't assisted anybody. So 46.8. Oh, come on. 46.8. Wind speed was 20. Uh, conditions, I'm, I'm gonna say cloudy. It looks pretty cloudy outside. Number of hikers is zero. Reported by Jack. Can I just, uh... Ah, cool. Ah. Can you guy? Do I copy? It's hour 11 copy. I think I'm gonna sign off for the day. Hour 12, signing off. You have a good night, new guy. Good night, Connor. Alright, Connor. Talk to you tomorrow. Did you report for the night yet? Very well. Anyways, tower 12. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Alright, we're now. Uh, okay. Cool. We got the fire. We've done the main thing we were supposed to do. I'm guessing we can sleep, but I might have. I might just take a second. Let's see. Going down these stairs creates some fight or flight instinct in me because of the game and no signal. Yeah, I feel you. I feel you. Fire. Connor's a stinker. You should put. Oh, you should put the gasoline everywhere. Yeah, let's not burn down on the first day of the job. You know what I mean? Some cooking. Wow. Yeah, that's that light works. That's good. Uh, a lot of fun stuff. Okay. Yeah, the barons are all right. I think we've done all the important stuff. Cool. Report submitted. That's all good. Looks like everybody was kind of saying the same thing. Two people said clouds. They were clearly incorrect because the rest of us said clear. Uh -huh. Look at them assisting hikers. Dang. What do you think about it? The fact they have to assist hikers too is quite a lot. Yep. Yeah, Mount Everest. Oh my god. I don't. I don't need. Just. It's. It's going great. Thank you. Uh, employee training. Let's... Welcome to Iron Bark State Park. If you're watching this video, then let Jack me be the, the first guy. to say oh, that's congratulations. Fun. That's fun. You have been radio. commissioned Good by morning. the Iron Bark Fire Department to protect one of the most prestigious parks in the state of Washington. 
Established in 1897, we have been known as one of the safest parks in America. We hope you can keep it that way for many years to come. Ha. <laughs> you got it, boss. This training video will ensure that you work to the best of your abilities. You have been selected as one of our Fire Lookout Observers. This is a truly rewarding job which requires many hours of hard work. Good. You will be working in our state-of-the-art lookout towers. And the following is a list of responsibilities you will have. Cool, yeah. Keep watch for fire. Smart. Fire isn't going to be noticeable all of the time, so also keep watch for smoke. Make sure to know what color the smoke is. It may be crucial information. Fires are best stopped before they spread out of hand. <laughs> I'm gonna <drink> drive. <laughs> Keep records of daily temperature. When the temperature rises, it is best that we have That's those funny. recorded. That's very funny. The science nerds at the Panoramic Preservation Society require us to note all changes in temperature. Okay. We yeah. think it's best not to get into a lawsuit. Keep records of daily wind speed. Wind is a big factor when it comes to fire. Yeah, Use true. the anemometer true. to scientifically gather the data. After collecting the data, input it into our state-of-the-art service reporting form. Ooh, this is a highly art. complicated form, often used by NASA employees. So don't be too ashamed if you can't figure it out at first. You have the privilege of using such a form. I love this so much. <laughs> Keep campers out of unregistered campgrounds. The campers might start a campfire, which could lead to a wildfire. They will not always listen to authority, so take precaution when escorting them. This is all very true. <laughs> Make sure to know whether the person is a threat. If you're worried about your safety, do not hesitate to dial 911. Keep maintenance of the park. Make sure the park is kept clean. We have a status to uphold. Yeah. Now that you know most of the duties that a fire lookout has, you're ready to start. We hope that you have a great season out there on the tower. Try not to damage any of the equipment. And remember, if you see smoke, don't joke. Call the authorities and notify them of the predicament immediately. If you see smoke, no joke. That's great. That's so funny. <laughs> Why would we not watch that? Yeah, top of the morning. That's the achievement. Yep, I knew it. Jacksepticeye for sure. Flash drive media. Ooh, it's a flash drive in this PC? That's interesting. Older disc, nothing crazy up there. The time hasn't changed. Oh, I can bring it back anytime I want. That's cool. Uh, let's, let's maybe go through some of these. And we are back. So how do you feel about being a plant? Do you moisturize? Fascinating. What do you do for a living? Uh-huh. Yeah. How does that work? Wow. Everyone's been wondering, how's the marriage with the wife? <laughs> sir. Sir, there's no need for that language. <laughs> sir, <laughs> calm down. What did you just say? Nobody talks to me like that on my show. My what God. the did you just say? Get over here, you piece of shit! <laughs> <laughs> Don't do drugs, kids. Oh, God, sorry. Uh, Ginger says, favorite Fears to Fathom episode. Yeah, I feel that. So far, I'm really enjoying it. I'm excited to see what it's going to be like now. Anime, a funny, great training video. Uh, Ginger reminds me of the Canadian wildfires that smothered the north for like a week. Horrifying, but, um... Yeah, I think I think I know what you're saying. I think I know what you're saying. Plant is a businessman on site. Ron Ross? Hi everyone. I'm Ron Ross, and I'm here to paint with you. Today I got some cool paint. This is something called testicular green. It reminds me of my wife. I love testicular my wife. green. Anyways, a little water there. Time to switch brushes. Oops, that's the wrong brush. That's a needle. That's my needle. I'll save that for later. Ah, there it is. The basting brush. This brush what? is really great for painting in those details. I think I'll put a little tree 
here. This is where I buried the bodies. You know what would look good here? A nice, happy cabin right there. Reminds me of when I had an affair with my wife. With a squirrel. Enough about me. Let's read some fan mail. <laughs> Sent in by you guys. <laughs> Eviction notice. Uh, forget the fan mail. We'll be right back after this commercial break. Oh my god. Ron Ross is, um... He's definitely Bob Ross is like a like evil twin. <laughs> oh my god, it's just an Adult Swim episode. It really is, isn't it? This is so funny. Cats, this got to be good, right? With a squirrel, you heard him right. Trippy music video. What the hell is going on? Okay. Well, don't know what that was all about, but it was it was it had cats in it, and I'm I'm all about that. Anything hiding in the bin? Yeah, that's a shame. Ironbark trail map? Ah, oh, okay, at least we can kind of see that now. A hike sale, assisting hikers, just want to explore. Cool. I didn't find you. You've been there. No, you can just stop talking to me, my friend. I don't I don't need you at the moment. You know, we'll hide you. We'll find you. Uh yeah, no, I think we're I think we're good for today. I think Banana Man wanted us to check in the fridge before we go to bed though. Brrr. Oh, look at that, like, the detail and the, and the crinkles and stuff. That's cool. Spock. It's like a mincemeat or chicken, maybe. Pepperoni. Mozzarella di bufala campa. Buffalo mozzarella. Sardines. French outdoor bread sliced ham. Wow, I actually got some stuff in here. Original baked beans. Why would you have those in a fridge? Why are they in a fridge? I don't understand. Bio eggs. Okay. Marinara sauce. Okay, I, I'm with you. Borle milk semi-skim. It's more milk. You have a little too much milk, maybe, for one person. Garden peas also in a tin in the fridge. Don't need to be in the. Don't need to be in the fridge. All right. I've made a mess everywhere. I hope that's. Uh, hope that's what Banana Man wanted, because uh, I'm gonna spoil all my food. Oh, did they smoke? Ah, oh, gross. That's okay. People smoke. It's all right. Moving on to the next day. I would also pet my cat forever if they wanted that. Oh, not that I have a cat here, but we're not allowed to in this apartment. But uh, but my mom has cats. My girlfriend has cats. Cats just great, man. Nothing wrong with other animals. Don't get me wrong. Just always been a cat lover. Hey, bud. Connor? Connor? Okay. Not hearing any weird noises. What time is it? 3.26? Okay. We go back to bed. Still had to pee? Okay. My first night, being out of my cabin gave me a strange feeling. Well, I mean, you know, it's it's a new thing. That's fair enough. You're allowed to be a bit anxious, isn't it? Very bizarre situation. Yeah, I was about to say, just pee off the side, right? Like, that's what I'd do. Why would I go all the way down there to pee? Yeah. Oh! oh yeah! Whoa! <laughs> 
<laughs> it's like fireworks, but it's it's pee. <laughs> you would not pee at this time. Hold it till morning. Ah, nah, it's fine. It's fine. As long as I didn't see anybody outside immediately, I'd be like, well, there's gonna be oh. I saw that. Somebody's down there. Can I go down there? Nope. Well, I, tr I tried. So, something might happen. Hmm. There were definitely flashlights. Somebody was down there. Somebody was down there. Night two. So that's interesting. I wonder if they... I wonder if I wasn't supposed to see that detail. Oh, see, this would be nice. Getting up early, seeing the sunrise, a bit of coffee, just you and the wind. Oh, it's lovely, this. I'll be all about this. Fuck yeah, look at that. <sighs> Why was he watching? Hey, maybe he was recording. You, you just don't know. It could have been on some kind of a weird site. Those people are out there. Do I need to swim? I feel like that. All right there. Boom. That's the photo. I would die for this view. I feel that, man. That's why you're moving to the Appalachia when you're older. Mm. I feel that. I feel that. It's just relaxing and peaceful, you know? You need those times. I wouldn't want it 24-7, but... But you need these times. I feel like in the morning, for example, great time to have it. Mmm, that's just nice. Taking another photo? I feel like I'm supposed to be seeing something, but I can't move around. And it's not exactly like everything's very obvious. I'm gonna take a picture of the same thing, I guess. How long am I gonna be doing this? Like, so I can't literally can't... Oh, okay, here we go. This is nice. Tons of urban legends in Appalachian Mountain. Oh. Got her! Got her, my dude! Copy that, Connor. What's up? Son of a bitch! Excuse me? Nobody bothers to get a camping permit these days anymore. Yeah. You have eyes on the smoke north of your position. I didn't know that you always needed a camping permit. I suppose it depends. I feel like you need a permit on, like, specific park grounds. That makes sense to me. But, I mean, just now in nature. I feel that's different, right? The smoke north of my position. Uh, let me have a look. Can I... I'm just going to go ahead and... Yoink. Uh, I need the binoculars. North of my position. Um... Shit, I get the feeling game logic might quite might not quite fly here. So here's what I'm thinking, right? Uh, well, that does not. Okay, so north is that way. Yep, that's that's definitely that's definitely there. It's very obvious. Do you see that smoke? Yep, yep. I I saw it, bud. You spot that white smoke up there? Yep. Appears to be in the lazy trail sector, which is not a registered campsite. Oh. People like that don't bother to clean up after themselves. <sighs> Fire risks are high this season. Am I checking it out? Uh, okay, heading north. I'll report back on it. Stay safe out there. Don't forget to carry your bear spray in these woods, new guy. Over and out. Ooh. Uh, ooh, yeah, it's all some of the urban legends. Uh, you're not from the area, so you don't know much, but since it's on the mountains, there are a bunch of stories. Oh, it's just shadow. That's fine. Bunch of stories about creatures taking people. Ah, also, just regular crime since it's pretty isolated. Makes sense. Sometimes there aren't houses for miles. It's pretty, but there are risks. Blah, blah, for sure, for sure. That's why it's important that if you're going to do these sort of things, you probably want to make sure you're prepared and, uh, you know, make sure you've learned some things ahead of time. Right, uh, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna go check this out. I'm excited. We've got some bear spray. Which we might not be encountering a bear, but uh, we might encounter something, and uh, it will work on other creatures. But it's strong. And either way, you don't want to be close enough to have to use it, you know what I mean? 
It's just like a good deterrent. You can use it on strangers. Not that I recommend that. You know, you should only use it if you're in danger. Caution, bears in area. But not teddy bears. Fucking shame. Let me just spray myself. Yeah. I'll be fine. Follow the trail that led me to the smoke. Hello? There was a scream. I did hear that. Aw, I heart Jen. She gives the best. <laughs> <laughs> no camping. Violators will be excited and real. Oh my god, that's funny. I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> Sucking funny. Alright, you, all right, you scallywags. Where are you at? What? Oh, I've suddenly got all this signal. Kayla. Oh god, Kayla. Oh! Uh, okay, so that was when I was at the diner, eating, yep. Oh, yeah, I'm send you a bit. Cool, casserole recipe. Some pics for you to do. Jack, are you okay? Yesterday. Hope everything's okay. Reply, let me see you. Sorry, don't let me see there's good service. Some lovely pictures of the same thing. Be from my tower, thanks for the recipe. Probably see Billy by the gate. Show me your ID. Yes, this is all, it's all fine at the moment. Hello. Got a little radio. They got a machete. Somebody whistling? Hello? Step out here. Show yourself. Don't make me come back there. I, I know the area beyond is closed, but clearly they got over there. I will spray myself in fear. be something else I can do here. Yeah, a little kayak? Where are you gonna go with it? What's the point? <laughs> Nate Gurley, I'd run back to the lookout. Well, I'm, I'm a boy, but thank you. You know, and uh, I agree. I agree. But I'm here to do my job. But you can call me Gurley. That's fine. I don't is funny. Can I seriously not go? Okay. We're just not gonna do anything about this? We're just not gonna do anything about this. Yeah, I had to put it out. Exactly, so... Uh, I need some, like, water, maybe. Uh, you have anything? Yeah, maybe a pot I can... Yeah, I need... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. Let's put out this craziness. Look, you wanna you guys wanna be a bunch of your dicks? As we get. There we go. Get my bear spray. Ready for any problems. You gonna come out now that I put out your fire? Alright. Let that be a warning to you. You can. You can call me girly. I, I don't mind. I'm rather chill about most things. Fuck with me. See what happens. Do must be slow to arrive late at night. Gin in the woods. Would not go there alone. I do a bear spray. Do a bear spray. Yeah, I guess we're good here. Put out the fire. Nobody showed up. As I hiked back to my tower through the dark, I couldn't shake the sense that something was terribly wrong. My mind couldn't help but think what might have happened. I mean, there was a scream. There was a scream. Oh no, what? Oh no, okay. I thought the game crashed, but we're okay. 
It's because Windows had a little pop-up saying it did crash, but I was like, nah, I can't have crashed. Because Windows is stupid, that's okay. You could never do this job in real life? Eh, I mean, you know, I guess it, it really depends, you know, it really depends. Generator looks like it's okay. Let's take the bear spray up, we'll get some firewood, we'll kind of prep ourselves for the night time. Is that still going? Nah. Report to Connor about the vacant campsite. Okay. Let's do that first. Uh, Connor, do you copy? Connor, do you copy? Loud and clear, new guy. I was just cooking myself some hot... Well, first, what's your status? Talk about campsite. Are you kidding me? Son of a bitch. They never learn, do they? Who are you talking about? I'm sick of these bastards. It's unbelievable. Has this been happening a lot? Uh, I'll mention the scream. A scream? Must have been one of those red foxes. They sound pretty much like a screaming lady at night. Those and mountain lions, yeah, I feel you. It was a manly scream. I don't know what you're talking about, new guy, but I heard from the rangers that a lot of campers have been flocking to that area lately because of the disappearance of those three kids. Oh, the ones that are on that board. Interesting. Kids went missing in that area? About a month ago. They were hiking with their families. They went off the trail and... Trace some sense. Oh, Connor is pissed. I don't blame him. I don't blame him. Um, so what happened to those kids? We don't know. Their parents said some whistle led them off the trail. It's unbelievable. People have started spreading rumors that the area might be haunted by some entities. Hmm. Color me intrigued. It's crazy, I know. You would think these rumors would scare people off, but apparently it's been the opposite. Sometimes. You mean, you mean the rumors? Sometimes you wish the rumors were true? That there are entities that maybe take people and possibly murder them? Is that, is that, is that, is that, is that what you just said to me, Connor? Um, okay. Well, at least now you know why Mitch had to staff Tower 11 urgently. That's unsettling. New guy, I hope you don't believe those rumors. Absolutely not. Great. Anyways, thanks for staying vigilant. You got it, man. I gotta contact the authorities so they can take care of this commotion first thing in the morning. We can't tolerate these goons anymore. Agreed. If they find them, I'll personally make sure they never set foot in this forest again. Uh, keep me updated. Will do. Over and out. Over and out. Thanks, bud. That's why you gotta hold a kid's hand while you go hiking. Yeah, you you right. Okay, so we need to do a weather report. Uh, I need to also have a fire, so I should... I think we got enough gasoline, so that's okay. Ooh. No! Wow, look, she... The casserole, that's nice. Want me the same casserole recipe today? Nom nom, I can't send any text messages to my friend. I hate my life. That's nah, okay, right. Let's go get some firewood. Because we need to be able to make a fire. Do, 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 do. Everything looks okay. Everything looks okay. Everything looks okay. I don't think we need anything else. Uh, I think we'll be alright. It goes like incredibly muffled with the sound when I go in that shack. It's kind of weird, but uh, you know, it doesn't doesn't fool me. Take me out of it. Can't place my accent, so um. So I'm originally born in the UK, but um, ever since I was nine years old, I was living in the States, in uh, Georgia, for pretty much majority of my life. So I've got a it's, it's it's a fair it's a fair mix, it's a fair old mix. Aha! Okay, so we got that done. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, before we carry on, I have to go to the toilet. So we're gonna go on. We're going. We're going. We're going. We're going to take quick five. It is a nice day. I, I really like Georgia. 
Uh, yeah, we'll be back in uh, back in five, guys. Not the burger place, though.
Oh god. Boo boo. Oh, that didn't do what it should have done. That's okay. Boo boo boo. Give it a second. Should pull back up. Uh huh. Oh no, I need my sound. Ooh. There we go. Happy days. We back. We back. Okay, okay. Um, what was I doing? So we start the fire. We need to do the weather check. Uh huh huh huh. So what is the wind? Nineteen knots, it seems for sure. Okay. Nineteen nuts. Uh, and then I need the temperature, which is forty-nine point two. What I say, weather conditions are. I, I would say cloudy. I would. Say I must lock myself outside cloudy. With a chance of meatballs. Yep. 9.2, wind speed is 19, cloud, uh, zero. Because, yeah, I mean, I, I can't really say I've assisted anybody. I tried, but there wouldn't be anybody there, so. Sweet. Tower 11, and then there's Connor a couple of minutes before me. Cool, cool, cool. Nice. All right. We did the, the important stuff. I don't think there's anything else. Nothing Nothing hiding. Cool. Okay. I like it. I like it. Um, hmm. If I go down and grab some more logs now, bring them and just kind of drop them, I wonder if they'll stay. I'm just thinking ahead. You know what I mean? I think that's, like, the right call. Let's go have a look. If not, we'll just go to sleep and uh, we'll see what happens. Boo -doo -boo, boo -doo -boo. The shadows are kind of creepy, but they're totally fine. Totally fine. Back on up we go. Look, this might not do what I want it to do, which is fine. At least we've learned. I'm just curious, you know, if I can just maybe chuck them there, and then uh, then they're going to stay here. You know, that's, that's all. Let's uh, turn the lights off. Go to bed. Too hungry to go to bed without food? Okay, so we need to uh, we need to make some food. At this point, I was starving. Okay. I had to get all the ingredients Kayla's recipe asked for. Oh, my God. Pasta, marinara, pepperoni, mozzarella, diced cheese. So pretty much all the basic ingredients. Uh, that's not it. Nope. Nope. Uh, mozzarella. Uh, uncooked pasta. Nope. Uh, pepperoni. Oh, there's the pasta. I need uh, marinara sauce. Uh, diced tomato. Diced tomatoes. Diced snoop. Diced snoop. That'd be like meats. Diced tomatoes. Gotcha. Still weird that you're in your fridge, but hey, whatever, right? Great. Hey, now we're really cooking with gears. Maybe with an oven, but you know. Connor? New guy. You copy? Count. Count Connor. Connor? Uh, just reported their ass to the authorities. What do they say? Don't worry. Forest Service Agency will take care of it first thing in the morning. That's relieving. Hope they can track them down and give them peace of their mind. Tell you what. I think I'm going to hit the sack now. I know it's been a tough day, but you're doing an excellent job up there. Thank you, Connor. Over now. I'm sorry, you want to eat this, this freshly hot thing out of the oven in bed? You don't want to put it in a bowl or anything? This looks weird. I guess at least I'll see any danger coming. 
He's gonna seriously eat the whole thing right now? This feels strange, right? Good. I'm glad you didn't eat the whole thing. Kind of should give you a second to talk before you ask again. Yeah. Alright, we'll put it in the fridge. Not that there's any room. Really? Get just... There. I didn't know I could put them back. Right. Lights off. Sleepy time. Oh my god, are you kidding me? I always close the doors before heading to bed. Did you? Did you really? Aye, 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 aye. There should be an automated way to do this. It's a bit silly that it's all completely manual. There. How's that? We all good now? Yeah, we're all good now. Okay. You love eating your food at a crisp 147 degrees Fahrenheit. Exactly, right? Yeah, yeah, let me just hold this insanely hot oven dish in my bed. Oh. I was woken by some feeling that caused my eyes to drift open. Is there somebody there? Look at that. Is there somebody there? <gasps> there was something very strange about that night. Why did he have, like, pointy ears? What the crap is up with that? Daniel Dolan! Welcome, my dude. Listen. What the shit? Where's my bear mace? Damn it, I don't see it. Oh, yes. Oh, I'm ready. That was an actual... That was an actual death moment? What? You're kidding me, that... that's happened? Holy what? I'm... What was I supposed to do exactly? Is he still there? Surgeon, you hear? I don't have any idea what time it is. There's something outside my door. It's kind of late until morning. Mention the skull. Tell you what, new guy. It's probably best to ignore these kids messing around. I suspect that's what Marley got tired of. I don't think these are kids messing around. These kids can be pretty creative with these pranks. They watch too many horror movies. Maybe they thought it would be funny. This is serious. You don't understand, do you?
Thanks. Connor didn't make any sense. How do I lock my door? I want you to get it down in the dark. What? I don't want to turn on the lights. How do I lock my door? How do I lock my door? said there's only so much I could do in the dark in which case I'd, I'd do that but then then what and it also said that he that Connor's not making any sense hmm. strange this is strange so what's going on here are my options because I don't want to go out there because I died last time I did. I'm a little concerned if I go out there it's going to happen again. But he said I just got to make it morning. I don't know if I'm supposed to maybe go back to sleep. Oh, I guess, yeah, just go back to sleep. Am I going to die? Oh, no, apparently that's, that's just fine. Okay. Next day, I woke up not being so sure if last night was real or just a dream. Connor tried to reason it was a harmless prank by some kids. But there's something about that night that just felt darker. There's something strange happening in those woods. 8.34 p.m. Ooh. I can most of my days with the simple maintenance in and around the tower. These binoculars are dirty as shit. So I scanning the density of trees all around me. Look at that. Fucking wipe these... Look at the disgusting. My paranoia for these woods only grew after last night, which led me to be extra vigilant moving forward. Also, I can't like look down or anything. Can I can I maybe move? Because this is just Oh, cool, I can clean them. Oh. Somebody needs help. Okay. Somebody shot a flare. Mr. Harris is here. Oh, happy birthday, Daniel. I I am I I'm already confused in my own layout. Hello? Is anyone there? I, I need help. Please, someone answer. I'm here. It's a Jack Tower 11. Oh, thank goodness. Uh, I'm lost, and I'm I'm really starting to freak out. What's going on, bud? I I don't even know where to start. I, I went out to explore the area and lost track of time. And, and now it's dark, and I can't remember the trail back to my truck. I think... I think I'm lost. <laughs> can you describe your clothing? Uh, can you describe your clothing? I'm wearing a red jacket, camo pants, and a green backpack. Okay. What equipment do you have? I have a flashlight, a compass, a fully charged two-way radio, a flare gun, and, and some of my camping equipment. What's your current location? Uh, I'm in the middle of the woods, on this trail surrounded by trees. Everything looks different at night. I thought shooting a few flare gun shots might get someone's attention, but no one's come yet. All it did was light up the trees and make everything look even scarier. I just want to find a way out of here. Uh, do you remember any landmarks? I, I remember passing a small stream earlier. Okay. I'm walking towards west right now, because I remember walking east when I came here. Walking west and oh, passed by a small goodness. stream. I see it. So I'm at a trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I should take the right trail or the left to get back to the trailhead. Let me scan the map, bud. They got, they got one here, don't they? Right. Uh, now, get, just, just go away, my friend. Okay, so he's going from east to west. He's passed by a small stream, and he's at... He might be over here, but where am I? Uh, hello? Uh, are, are you still there? Both of these trails seem pretty similar. Uh, I'm just so anxious about making a mistake. 
I'm trying to figure this out for you, my dude. Calm yourself. Where's tra where's where am I? Tower eleven. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. And he was just a bit north of me, so he might be kind of over there, actually. But ah, it doesn't make any sense. So in which case, he would have gone all the way over there, but he's only just recently passed a small stream, so I think he's over here. Shit. In which case, if he comes my way, he'll come to me. But where did he shoot the flare from? Because if I'm out here... I want to say it was, I was like over here, wasn't I? So what would these directions be? Oh, uh, yeah, I'll tell you what, I'll get the compass, I'll get the compass, I'll get the compass. I wish I could use the big one, but it's apparently useless. Where is my compass? Oh my god, where is my compass? It should be there. You are. Okay, north is that way. Gotcha. So that's north. So I was probably over here, in which case he should be east. East of me, so he might be exactly where I think he is. So if he's east, if he is indeed, you know, so if he's crossed here and he's gone here, then he should be right near me, but he makes it sound like he, it doesn't sound like that, because he's coming from east to west. He's passed by a small stream. Wouldn't have been that one, because it's, uh, ah. Mm. He did say a small stream. A creek, uh, well, I would argue a creek is a stream. In which case, he could be right near me, but then again, he didn't mention anything about an old radio tower. Or the fact that he's near me. It would be very obvious. That's why I don't think he's there. But then in which case, he could be over here. Hmm. But then he would have passed by a campsite. Which doesn't sound right. <sighs> I mean, this is the one I'm thinking of, but I just I don't know. I don't trust it. Wish I could remember exactly where. Wish I could remember exactly where that flare went off at. Wish there was still a residue of it somewhere. Because oh, I'm pretty sure I was over here. No, because then that would have been over that way. So it must have been over here. In which case, I was kind of scanning around that way. There's definitely got to be east. Tower 12 is that direction. You need to just relax about the door thing while I figure this out. You think it left? Yeah, I, I'm thinking if he is indeed here, it would send me, it send him down here to me. At least then I could get him to safety. It's, it's the only one that really kind of lines up with anything. Yeah. I guess we just, I guess we just go with that. I'm at a trail intersection now. Ha! I knew it! I thought it looked familiar. I couldn't have trusted myself with this decision. <laughs> Thanks for helping me through this. You're welcome. I'm right here! Yeah. I hear you. I hear your whistles. That's not me. Wh what? I see you behind the trees to my right. That's not me. You're freaking me out. Hello? Holy moly, what took you so long in there? Been knocking for hours. I was asked to check in on you. What were you up to? What do you mean you've been knocking for hours? Is this thing a lost hiker? Sour, may the Lord be merciful. Anyways, got your tower supplies here, just the usual essentials. Thanks, bud. What were you doing there last night? What do you mean? Up north. Why were you there? Wouldn't screw around out there, pal. I was required to investigate in a campfire smoke. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Nasty business up there, pal. Bobcats and bears. Be careful out there, pal. These woods aren't normal, and there's stuff out there that would love to get a piece of you. Not to mention you'd be quite a distance from help if anything happens. 
Got enough to keep me occupied here. Absolutely, it's a busy job. Been hearing you've been a bit on the edge. Everything all right? Ooh, the problem is, do I trust him? Because initiate my, my 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 current situation, my current thought process is, I don't trust this guy, right? But if he was a good guy, I would mention the skull. But I, f I feel like if I mention the skull, that would be bad. You know what I mean? You think he seem you think he seems nice? You think we should tell him about the skull? I don't know, man. I don't know. I feel like it's. I feel like he is also jumpy and edgy. I think he knows more than he's letting on. It's tricky. It's real tricky. But I don't think I'm going to trust him. I think he's suspicious. Just getting, just getting used to the new environment, man. That's the spirit. You notice anything? Oh, I guess I don't have a choice. I mentioned the skull. Oh, Lord, did you take a photo of it? Uh, I didn't think about it. Anyways, it's getting late. I better get going now. Just keep watch. Thanks, bud. It makes me feel good knowing I can see you leave. Yeah, you you stay you stay right there unless I'm supposed to do something with you. Doesn't look like it. Cool. Mr. Hiker. Nothing. Okay. I guess we just do our typical nightly stuff. Oh, so the things did not stay, which is which is absolutely fine. I was too hungry. Well, we need to be ready to prep for the night time. You jerk. What are you what are you thinking of eating now? Yeah. Yeah, fat boy. Oh, I guess yeah, I guess I've got these. 420. Hey -o. Hey -o. man, I, I really could go for a coffee. Beat after me. Only you. Only you. I know there's more to it, but it's just funny that it only says only you. Alright, I guess we do the, yep, the sitting down, eating in bed like a, like a normal person with a big old dish. Yep, don't put it in a bowl or a plate or anything. Nah, 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 nah. this is fine. I guess it is less dishes to clean up, so I do understand that logic. I mean, I've definitely done it once or twice, you know, but I wouldn't say I've sat in bed and done it. Cool. And boom. Oh, look, it went right through the sink. Okay, let's go get my nighttime supplies. I was just trying to prep, my dude, but fine. I guess we won't. What's the wind? 26 knots. Okay, 26 knots. Uh, what does it look like outside? It's uh, it's a little cloudy, I'd say. I'd, I'd argue clear. I think clear is fine for that. 58.7. All right, let's go ahead and do what we need to do. Uh, 58.7. Wind speed, 26. Cloud, yeah. We'll say cloud. I don't know. Cloud. I'll still say clear. I've assisted one hiker. Reported by Jack. You bastard. Missed. One of these will be right. Wind. There we go. Fine. I think it's all correct, but whatever. Last me four days if I had that. I feel you on that. Unless I'm in a really fatty mood, in which case, one or two days. Let's go get my logs. Me firewood. Fuck, yep. oh, who are you? Oh, Jesus Christ. Ah. Ah, he just gave me a heart attack. I understand loneliness can make the mind play tricks on you. What's your name? Names can be deceiving. Call me Silas. 
It's not a good name. It's not a good name. What are you doing here? No need to be alarmed. I'm a worker. I was just doing some routine maintenance on the radio tower over there. Thought I'd say hi. The new guy everyone's been talking about. Nice to meet you. You usually work this late? Every Sunday, just trying to keep the communication lines open. We must ensure that the right message reach the, reaches the right places. Wouldn't you agree? Um, yep, we rely on information about fire sightings. Yep, absolutely. But some fires are meant to burn. And no amount of prevention can stop them. Mm, what do you mean? Nature has its own plans. Some things can't be controlled, no matter how hard we try. And sometimes, disasters are just another form of cleansing. A way for the land to purify itself. I'll see you around, Silas. Have a good night, Jack. Hope you sleep well, but remember... Curiosity can lead to places you'd rather not go. Farewell, Jack. How did you know my name? That guy gave out the creepiest vibes, yeah. Oh, look, he's just gonna walk right out into the woods. Like a maniac. I don't... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. How does he know my name? I mean, I get it that there's, you know, the new guy. He might have learned it through that. But it's just a bit weird that, uh, you know, he would just come out immediately and say my name. It's just a bit too... Close the door on myself. I, uh, I feel like a goof. Yes, I am aware what we need to do. Thank you. That's not quite. There we go. Connor? Everything, everything okay, Connor? Copy now. This is Jack. <sighs> Finally. I've been trying to reach you for a while now. Where have you been? Uh, ran into Silas downstairs. Ran into who? The guy maintaining that nearby radio tower? <sighs> Just about yesterday. What do you mean? You trying to yank my chain now? What do you mean? And who did I just talk to? Look, if what you're saying is true, it could be another one of those goons playing pranks on you. Connor. He knew my name. Knew your name? You think he's been listening? Possibly. Either way, disguising as a staff member is strictly forbidden according to park guidelines. Well, what are we supposed to do about it, Connor? He walked out into the woods like a fucking madman. I'm not about to go after him. I hate these rules. Sure. Anyways, I'm seeing that you've already reported. I think I'm gonna hit the sack now. Good night, Connor. Twelve, signing off. Good night. I ever know. Uh, I don't feel safe anymore. I mean, I didn't trust him to begin with, but now I trust him even less, Mr. Silas. Oh my God. Oh, they're all the way over there. You needle. Yes, dude. Okay. He's probably watching the stream. That'd be clever, Daniel. That'd be real clever. I'd have to give him props if he uh, if he was getting our names via that method. All right. Let's um see the fun act of going to bed. I'm glad I can hide under the bed at all times. But at the same time, where am I gonna go? Like, let's say. Let's say let's say a threat is coming, okay? And I'm I'm in the I'm in the Firewatch Tower, as you'd imagine. But they also obviously know I'm up there, right? Makes sense. They're coming up, I hide under my bed. Logically in their minds, where would I go? It's not really a good escape. Because there's only one way in and out. Ooh, it's rough. It's rough. My unease was starting to grow with each passing day. So, when I signed off that night, I told myself that it was just a change of environment that I needed getting used to. No, 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 no. This is a bit too far now. 
The strangest I'd seen so far in those woods was not enough to cause an alarm yet. However, that would soon change. Uh, excuse me, two nights later. Oh my lord, 9.18 p.m. Jump out the window is also an option. Yeah, you might die, but yeah. You got a minute? Uh, I'm listening. Well, good news. Just heard from the HQ. They say we've got a new system update on the computer. Cool. They just wanted me to let you know. They say it's an important security update. Cool. No more snoopers, I guess. Um, how do I update it? Well, to be honest with you, all this new technology is not really my thing. Shame. Dare I say it, these computers are probably going to take all our jobs one day. Yeah, probably not. Anyways, for now, use the console to run the new system update. Cool. I'm sure a young man like you can figure it out. Yeah. Thanks for letting me know. Uh, so it's going to be check. Uh, update in total should be one and two. Yep, yeah, cool. Happy days, in which case uh, we're going to do update. Do update package code. Sorry, so it's going to be security, I think he said. Version 2.11. And Rainbow OS. Okay, so there's only a thing for Rainbow OS. Okay. So update two. What's the package code? Oh, four three four six zero eight four. Gotcha. That's me being dumb. Four three four six zero eight four. What? That's the one. Four three four six zero eight four. What? Oh, unless I do update and then I do it right. Four three four six zero eight four. Stupid, jeez, it shouldn't be that silly. Enter an active line, any that are serviceable. Okay, so 1045. Nope, that's busy. 597 is busy. 5416 is busy, so 5487. Got it. Ooh, it's all green now. I love it. Thank you. Um, my generator run out. Power was out. Shit. That's not good. Oh, and it's heavily raining. I gotta go down and turn on the generator. Does that mean that somebody was down there turning it off? Hello? Ran out of gas. So eerily beautiful, you know what I mean? I got drenched in the rain. Hello? Please don't be a jump scare. I don't mind other kinds of scares, but jump scares suck. Nope. Getting cold and I have to pee. Okay, well I guess we have to pee for going back up. Okay. All right. One week later, time was flying by. Connor's generator was under maintenance, which meant I had to cover his area for the past two days. When there were no fires going, the only thing I'd do is check in on Connor twice a day. So th there's a noise meter because we're hiding. And at certain points in, in these kind of games, when you're hiding from people who can probably get you and end your game and kill you and stuff, you have to you know, hide and make no noise or else they can find you. It's pretty fun. They did it since the second one, I think. Really cool, really cool. I, I think it's a great mechanic. I, lo I love the idea of, like, you also have to be quiet. It's great fun. 
When there are no fires going, the only thing I do is check on Connor twice a day. That might have been the only time I ever talked. Unless I was talking to myself. Well, I mean, as you do, you know, people, people do that. I do it a little bit. We got another one. Connor? I know it's late, but you're going to want to see this one, Jack. Jack? Jack? I need you to wake up. You copy? I'm coming, my boy. I'm coming. What's the problem? Jack, you copy? Right here, Connor. Okay, tell you what. I don't have the energy to do this right now. What happened? I've been here busting my ass, working on that old piece of garbage generator. And now I'm seeing this. I'm seeing more smoke to my west. We got another camper. It appears to be in your sector. You see the campsite from your end? I'll have a look. Gotta face west. I oh, can't see shit. You know what? I don't have it in me to deal with this crap tonight. We don't let you deal with this one. If they don't run away this time, take their photos and IDs. And if things get worse, don't hesitate to call HQ for help. Update me tomorrow morning. Go, Connor. <clears throat> um, I really feel like I need this, don't I? Oh, I can take both. Oh, sweet. Okay. To the west. Oh, oh my God. Yeah, look. It's just right there. Okay, well, that's not too far. All right, let's go. Let's go deal with it. What? Well, didn't feel safe going downstairs. What? What? Why? It's just right there. And bear mace and everything. You're saying I need to like use my dirty binoculars and, and spot them? Is that what I need to do here? Oh, shit. I didn't know what to make of it. Only thing that made sense at the time was to take evidence of it. Uh, yeah, for real. Well, I'm dead. <gasps> oh my god, what? What do you mean we have to make a run? Stop it. Listen. I still hear him breathing, do you hear that? 
look, he's, he's right there. He's right by those boards. Do you see him? Oh, has he gone around that way? Okay, so do I have to go that way? And he's over on that side. I mean, it's what the game makes it seem like I need to do. Okay. You ready? Me neither. Huh? Bye! Bye! I wish I could run faster! I guess I should have hid in the porta potty. Hmm, I guess so. Cause yeah, I'm not I'm not running fast. That's that's the thing. So we need to. Hmm. So my guess is yeah, I get down to the bottom, hide in the porta potty. So he thinks I've run even further away. And yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Do do do. Do do do. Yeah, let's get through all this malark. Thank you. We're gonna do our little quick conversation. Yep. Boop, 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 boop. Thank you. Yep. Okay. Thanks, bud. Uh, let's get through this real quick. It's gonna be a. Oh my God! There's a cult right near your location. That's crazy. I can't believe what I'm seeing. I mean, it is kind of weird that they're doing this and, like, nobody's even remotely aware of it. It's kind of freaking strange, right? Okay. Take the photo. And that's when they're all like, oh my god, we saw a camera flash. <gasps> it's pretty great, to be fair. What a great moment. Oh no! Dino, Mr. Zeus, welcome! Let's get out of here. Huh? Hey, bud. Oh, I was gonna get him. Get ready.
I don't know. Really? B Damn it, Billy. Oh, no! Oh, no! Get to my RV! He's so fast! Get to my RV, get to my RV, get to my RV! Fuck you. His adrenaline kicked in. I hit the gas and drove to the nearest ranger cabin. Out of breath, I radioed in to alert the HQ. Look, Jack, we all get a little sir crazy out here, Mitch answered. Next morning, authorities allegedly ran a small investigation of the area. But of course, they met with no signs of misconduct. No one ever believed my story, dismissing it as a product of isolation. Just stick to looking out for fires, Mitch offered. However, that was the last time I ever set my foot in those woods. The unease still sits heavy in my stomach. Even though many years have passed, the experience still feels vivid in my memory. My family thought I was making this whole thing up, which is really out of my character. But I know what I saw. Real or not, after dark, these woods can become a haven for illegal activities. So if any of you plan on going camping soon, please be safe. Survive through the fourth episode. Beautiful, beautiful. That was nice. What? What? I, what I, I mean, that is a horrifying story when you really think about it. But it makes sense. I mean, clearly you can't fully police everything. You know what I mean? So of course people will figure out how they can get away with certain activities and stuff. But it is interesting that this person at 24 years old got to live through like a a crazy culty experience you know what I mean but when you think about it damn this person could have died that's horrifying that is horrifying oh good lord it was good it was really good I enjoyed that Jacksepticeyes from your country oh Ireland oh good good He's a good lad. He's a good lad. Tanahor is going to eat because he just woke up. I feel that. I feel that. No worries. Oh, my God. That was good. That was real good. I really enjoyed that. Let's see. What time have we got? It is like 10 to 3. That's not bad. We're doing the watch stream in two hours. Do I have anything short we can maybe play? I'll have a look. I'll have a look. I'll have a look. Might have something kind of short that we can jump into for a bit. Switch over to intermission. It's a bit more casual. While I have a look for maybe a little something something at the moment that we can uh, hop into, it maybe won't be too long. Maybe it's like a little indie horror kind of thing. Um, I mean, I've got tons, but some of them are long. That's the problem. Need something kind of short, don't we? Don't we? Do I have a favorite soccer team? I don't really know. I know, I know it's kind of like a big staple. Of a lot of people, and I totally understand that. I, I enjoy watching the sport myself. Not not as much as a true fan does, but, um, but you know, like uh, like World Cup's quite a lot of fun. Rugby Six Nations is, is fun as well, just because they're big old festivities and, and very enjoyable. Um, but no, I wouldn't say there's really any proper team that I'm, like, diehard for, you know, but it's just because I've also moved around a lot in my life, so I've, I haven't really had the, the luxury of being able to commit to one team. I've always had to root for different teams, so it's just, you know, kind of just roll with whatever. Myself. Uh, Fatal Midnight. That was one that was recommended before. Uh, let me have a look at it. Let me have a look at Fatal Midnight. Uh-huh. At night, when the earth had already settled into darkness, Dan woke up from his unusual sounds coming from the depths of the house. Concerned about his sister, he decides to check on her. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Can you find your sister and help her? 
Oh, is it not a full one though? Ah, oh, it's not a full game. Okay, okay. Is there is there any shorts in your games we can maybe jump into? Fear the Moon, Chapter One of Three of Fear the Moon. That looks kind of silly. Uh, we did Crawl Intruder. Oh, what's this? A short horror game. Oh, I think we played something like this. Find oh I've got that's not my neighbor. We can jump into a little bit of that. Jump into a bit of that. Why do you do you, Daniel? Do you have a favorite soccer team? Who do you support? Well I pull up our uh we'll do that's not my neighbor is what we're gonna do. Downloads uh, I know I've got it in here. That's not the one. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Your Arsenal. Ah, I feel you, my dude. I've I've got a few people who are uh, Arsenal fans. Uh, the last contract I worked, we um we worked with this lovely Frenchman. He he absolutely adores Arsenal. It's just, just he, he would always always talk about them. But his partner's um a Man City fan, so it's really funny. So uh, as you know, because he loves it a bit, but he's like he's like, but we'll have the stupidest fights just because you know one team's doing well and the other one's not, and it's like that's just that's funny. That's real funny. Here we go. That's not my neighbor. Okay, let me pull up this. I'm gonna play a little bit of that's not my neighbor. Probably for the next 30 minutes or so. And then uh, we'll probably call it at the moment. So it gives me a bit of time to prep for the next stream. This video game contains flashing lights. You've been warned. Welcome to That's Not My Neighbor. So this is a, um, this very much makes me feel and think of Papers, Please, but in a little bit more of a uh, silly kind of a manner. Uh, but yeah, that's that's essentially the concept. We're a doorman. We have to make sure that the correct people go in and not doppelgangers. But also, we can't allow everybody in, even if they do properly live there, for various reasons. Let's jump in. Arcade mode. Let's do it. The following short film is a production of DDD with educational fines. Doppelganger detection department. Oh, Jesus. Hello, if you're watching this film, it's because you're the new doorman in your building. Your job is to determine whether the person who wants to enter the building is a doppelganger. So cheery. As everyone knows, doppelgangers have the ability to transform into another person and impersonate them. But some are not too good at it and could generate imperfections. You have to pay close attention to the appearance of your neighbors. Also, remember to fill out the checklist for each neighbor. I will probably forget, I'm sure. You can't miss any detail because it could mean death for you and your neighbors. Great. This is the structure of your office. Now we're going to explain how it works. So fun and catchy. Except everybody could die if I fuck up. Here's the security window. Don't forget to observe very well each individual who approaches. Okay, okay. Got ya. On the right, you have the folders with all the data of each neighbor according to the respective floor. To fill out the checklist, take one of the lists in front of you. Okay. Receive documents from this hatch. Well, it's, it's fun if I let if I let death come to the entire apartment. I don't I don't, I don't think so, Daniel. <laughs> if you determine the individual isn't a doppelganger, then allow them into the building with these buttons. Okay. Otherwise, if you determine that it is in fact a doppelganger, press the emergency button and call three three one two to communicate with the DDD or any apartment in your building. Use the telephone in front of you. Oh, can I call apartments to see if they're like? in interesting your job is really important so make sure you do it right okay finally we congratulate the doorman of the month henry it wasn't that he did an excellent job but he was the only doorman in the area who didn't get killed by doppelgangers it's a pretty low bar you like henry but better <laughs> Poor Henry. Henry didn't deserve that. 
Henry did not deserve the shade. He seems like a nice man. Okay, here we go. Hey, bud. Welcome and congratulations on your new job. Thanks. Oh, okay. So it's February 1955, February 10th. Hello. Good day. Capuchin, Raff, Raff Tellin. Resident of the building, went to visit my parents. Uh, this looks okay. Uh, three, four, okay. Uh, that is you. Yep, she is a housewife. Wow, appearance. Long face, big nose, straight hair, wears a headband. Long face, big uh, well, can I, uh, can I move this? No, I can't. Uh, long face, big nose, so long face, big nose. Uh, I mean, that looks okay. Uh, what's the checklist? Oh, where's your ID? Thank you for your ID. It's good to just verify your information. I appreciate you at this time. Five six eight five five four five five six eight five five four five nine six three two nine nine six three two nine. Cool. Raftalin Capuchin. Raftalin Capuchin. That all looks good. Um, I think I need to check as well if you're on this list. You are indeed. Okay. Well, guess what? You're going through. Thanks for your time. Appreciate you. Ever dream this clown? He was in the other game. Every night all over the world. Oh. Uh, you were just here. Also, your eyes coming out. I'm not even going to waste my time here. Three, three, one, two. It's an old rotary phone. It's great. Love it. I'll take up the DDD. Cool. We sorted it. Cleaning protocol complete. Thank you, bud. Well, I will continue my job. Appreciate that. Thanks. Can I? Oh, I see. It's already, it's already closed. Cool. Cool. Because if I accidentally leave it open, they'll just walk on by, which is dangerous. Good afternoon. Right. First of all, you on here? Mia Stone. Okay. You do look correct at the moment. That's cool. Thank you for your ID. Uh, what was your apartment? I'm sorry. 3-1. Okay. 3-1. Mia Stone. Teacher. Long hair. Small round nose. She has freckles. Oval face. Thin eyebrows. Uh, thin eyebrows. Oval face. Um, okay. So far, so good. Uh, 7-8-9-5-6-4-5. 7-8-9-5-6-4-5. 2-5-1-1-5. 2-5-1-1-5. 1978. I guess all fine. You got the stamp. You got the stamp. Mia Stone. Resident of the building. Come from job as teacher. Mm, okay. It's all looks good. Uh, yeah. I think we're, I think we're good. Yep, 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 yep. Excellent. On you go. Thanks so much. I'm sorry, it's just a small cut beside her eye? What? Did I, did I accidentally let through a doppelganger? Damn, she did a good job then. You are, must be Henry Cavill. Nope, Isaac Goss. Wow, you are quite something. Four, five, six, nine, eight, five, five. What floor are you on? Uh, two, 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 two. Four, five, six, nine, eight, five, five. One, two, three, six, nine. One, two, three, six, nine. Yep, cool, okay, that's good. Uh huh. There's a building. Apartment second, second floor. Yep, that's all true. It's your quest. You got the stamp. That's cool. Uh oh, the one before. Oh, okay, okay. Big eyebrows, big smile, prominent chin, big nose. Definitely looks like that. Yeah. Okay. You're looking good. Yep. Thank you. Well, so far so good. I think. If I've let one of them through, we failed though, so. But we don't know until the end. Hi, how you doing? Gloria Schmicht. Okay. What floor are you, Gloria? Um There you are. Six nine eight five two two three six five six five eight six nine eight five two two three six nine eight five two two three. 41150, 41150, 04, you got a stamp, cool, you got a stamp there. Uh -huh. Resident of the building, cover job as a banker, that's all correct, but. Round face, mullen right cheek, yep, short hair, round nose. I mean, yeah, I think you're, I think you're all good to go. 
Yep, yeah, on you go. Thanks so much. Well, so far so good. We've only had one very obvious one. I think we're doing okay. Hi, how you doing? Where's your eyes? Lois Stilnski. 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 Uh, you are 1-1. One, one. Okay. 8-9-4-5-6-9-7. 8945697 cool. Housewife, big lips, mole on her left cheek, round face, short hair. Left cheek. I'm oh, sorry, did you say short hair? Short hair. I wouldn't really call that short hair, but okay. Round face, mole on left cheek, big lips. That all looks right. Okay. And she she looks Jesus. Uh, you on my amp? Okay, now this song looks, song looks good. Thanks so much. This is weirdly going well. I'm a little concerned as to why it's going so well. Goodbye. Goodbye. What? 8945697. That doesn't sound right. Nine seven oh it is two three six five one two three six oh what went out to do human activities oh now that's suspicious went out to do human activities although you look exactly like her though I've got to admit I've got to admit I've got to admit so if you don't mind I'm just gonna call one one how do I how do I call them Oh, uh, 1152. Sorry, let me try that. Just because I uh, well, definitely feel like she's not the right lady, so. Oh, I'm going to get rid of her. I just wanted to uh, really embarrass her. Roman speaking. My wife and I are in the apartment right now. Yep, I thought so. Cool. Yep, sounds good to me, bud. Appreciate you. Well, thanks for your time, lady. That was very, very close and very clever, except for the human activities. There was the little gi giveaway. The little giveaway. We caught you. Yep, let's get you through. Thank you. I will indeed. Thanks. Thanks, bye. You're right. Uh, how many more do we have? That's the question. Oh, you don't look okay. Um. Yeah. Um. Yeah. We're just not even gonna waste any time here. You are far too suspicious, my friend. Silly, silly. Silly, silly. Yep. Thanks so much. I, I will indeed. Thanks. Thank you. Bye. Bye bye. How many more do we have? Are we succeeding? I really hope so. What the fuck again? There's no way. There's no way. You went out to visit your mother, but I didn't see you go out. 1152. Unless he says... Unless he says that his wife went out, and then in which case, fine. But I'm suspicious. Roman's here. Is he going to say he and his wife are in? Yep. Okay. That's all I needed to hear, sir. Thank you very much. It's just good to clarify. It's really weird that you pick the same one every single time. Don't know what you're thinking, doppelgangers. Unless, uh, unless the first one I let in was the doppelganger. I'm just gonna pretend that everything's fine. We'll find out at the end. How poorly I did. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, fine. Hello, you look exhausted. Uh, where's your ID, girl? 
Yeah, you need it. Thank you. Uh, are you on my list? Anastasia McKeelis. Yes, you are. Uh, you look exhausted. You're a really weird schoolgirl kind of thing going on. But I have two, four. One, three, two, six, nine, eight, five. One, three, two, six, nine, eight, five. Three, four, four, six, two. Three, four, four, six, two. Yep, cool. Tired eyes, two ponytails, small nose, round face. Sounds about right. Sounds about right. Okay. Good enough for me. Get out of here. Am I checking everybody thoroughly? I, I, I think, maybe? I'm not really sure. Hello. What's with your blue eyebrows? Mia Stone. I think I am expecting you. Yes, 3-1. Okay. Mia Stone. Yes, you are indeed. Teacher, 7-8-9-5-6-4. 7-8-9-5-6-4. Five two five one one five. Wrong one. Five two five one one five. Cool. Yep. Long hair, small round nose. Okay. Freckles, oval face, thin eyebrows. I'm sorry. Did you say thin eyebrows? You did indeed say thin eyebrows. Whereas hers are not thin. Hmm. But it does match your ID. Now that's interesting. Don't match. And I'm guessing even on here, yep, even on there. Sorry, girl. You ain't the right one. Yeah, she does have man eyebrows, doesn't she? It's a good thing uh, we didn't fall for it, did we, boys and girls? Kicking ass. It does seem to be going well. We're catching a lot of doppelgangers. It's really worrying that there's so many. They really want to come and kill us, don't they? But at least we're doing a good job. We're doing a real good job here. Doing my job. Thank you. I appreciate the permission to do what I'm paid to do. Thank you so much. Love it. I should really fix that wall back there. Oh, hi. Good afternoon. How you doing? Why are you wearing a hat here but not... Well, I guess for pictures you, uh, you know, don't always wear them. That's fair. That's fair. M McClui Rude Boys. 3-3. Three, three. Okay. 3-3. Three, three. There you are. Retired. Uh, mustache, big nose, goatee, smokes, always wears a hat. Okay, nope, fair enough. That's cool. That's cool. 964516. 964516. 184611. 184611. Cool. Retired. What did it say he was doing? Cover doing the shopping. That's cool. Resident building. 33. Yep, okay. The stamps look good. 71958. I just want to. Mustache, big nose, goatee, smokes, always wears a hat. That oh, looks good. Through you go, dude. We need to beat Henry? Who's Henry? Oh. Um. Well. I think we're done here. Don't think that was even a uh, even a question. <laughs> Thanks, bud. Appreciate you. How many have we done now? It feels like ten. Done, done quite good. That's normal. <laughs> I had to start with the promotion, huh? Oh yes, Henry. Of course. Ah, now you look like you're supposed to look. Okay, I like that. You're Albert Ski Peachman, 1974. That's cool. One, two. Cooper Job is a shoemaker. Is that true? He's a shoemaker. Yep. One, four, six, five, one, two. Zero, six, five, one, two. Nine, eight, six, three, five, four. Nine, eight, six, three, five, four. Cool. Mustache. Prominent chin. Big nose. Big eyebrows. Long face. Mustache, big eyebrows, prominent chin. Yep, I mean, that looks, that looks all right. And I think he is on the list. Yep. Job of the shoemaker. The stamp looks good. Okay. I think we're, I think we're good to go here. Thank you. Thank you. So, it's all very kind of you. Do you want to open your eyes, lady? You know, bump into everything that way. There's a building company job as a model. Really? You're a model, are you? Uh, pay oh, that's that's going to be annoying. Okay, well, this is Eleanor. 
not Salim. And it looks like they are exactly the same, except one has a mole on the right, one has a mole on the left. So Eleanor says it's on the left. It is indeed on the left. Uh, small point of nose, slim, long neck. Small point of nose, slim, long neck. Yeah, I mean, that sounds that sounds right. Anyway, let's see. 845323, 845323, 014956, 014956. Yep, cool. 1980, got stamped. Cool, great. Uh, resident, yep, okay. Uh, are you on my list? You are, okay. No, yep, all good to go. Thank you. Mr. Foof is here. Mr. Foof. How do we do it? How do we do? Captured six. Killed no neighbors. <gasps> oh my god. We freaking aced it. We caught all the doppels. We didn't get anybody killed. We didn't allow any doppels in. Dude! Wow! Oh, well, I guess the details would show you if, if you did anything wrong. That's awesome! Record. Yeah! Oh, oh I guess I actually closed the game. <laughs> God. He's gonna tell me something. They simp for the milkman. What? Somebody simps for the... what? Foof? Who simped for the milkman? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Some sometimes, sometimes you guys make me concerned. Oh, that was good. That was real, real good. Oh man, that's a little torture house. Oh my God, there's all these. All these things popping up on HIO now. That's fantastic. I'm gonna have to in the game. I play. Oh, you talking about in um in uh, that's not my neighbor. I got you. I got you. Well, that was good. This has been a good little gaming session. Um, I'm gonna have to make sure I've got a nice little list for next time. What I might do is in our um in our Discord. What I might do is I'll put up a um a channel where you guys can put in your game recommendations for these streams. And that way it's like, we kind of have things that we're, we're all agreeing we want to, for me to, to play through and we'll roll through and that'd be fun. I think it'd be really good. So that's probably what I'm going to do. Yeah. This way everybody can have a, everybody can have a voice, even if they're not in the streams at the time. It's a good idea. Fantastic. So in, um, in one hour and 40 minutes over on Nate narrates, you know, we're going to be doing the watch stream. We're going to be starting with Cypress Beauty, I think it's called. A little little horror thing about that. And then I've got some horror short films we could jump into as well. We'll go through recommendations and stuff. It'd be good. It'd be real good. It'd be real fun. This has been great. Thank you all very much for being here and having a good little time with me. I really appreciate all of you. This has been fantastic. Like I said, I'll set up a, I'll set up a thing in our Discord where um, it'll be a text channel literally about you just pop in any game recommendations you want to see me stream or, or play or whatever. And that'll be, that'll be what we do. You're going to force me to play everything I hate. Well, I mean, so long as you guys are entertained, that's that's what matters, you know? So it's, it's not really about me. This is this is me giving back to you. And if, if you want to see me suffer, I mean, I'm, I, I'm, I'm okay with that. You know, because at the end of the day, it's still fun, isn't it? It's still fun. Even if I'm not having a good time, it's, it's all in the name of good time. So try your best, Foof. Try your best. We'll see. We'll see how we get on. <laughs> right. Anyway, I'll uh, I'll go set that up in the Discord in like the next ten minutes or so, and uh, yeah, I'll see uh, I'll see some of you in one hour and forty minutes over on Nate Narrates for for the watch stream. Stay beautiful, boys and girls. Thank